Hey YouTube, 1.5 is just around the corner. We got about a week to go and I am going to let you guys know very important things that you can do to prep for 1.5. Number one is going to surprise you right here, but I would heavily recommend not doing your weekly bosses on Monday and Tuesday of next week. So Monday and Tuesday, the 26th and the 27th, do not do your weekly bosses. Wait until the 28th until the update comes. Because if you're doing your weekly bosses prior, it's going to cost you 60 resin. If you wait until the update, it'll cost you 30 resin. So for those of you who forgot when the 1.5 update drops, for the first three weekly bosses, um, it'll be 30 resin. And then after, it'll revert back to 60. So wait until Wednesday for your weekly bosses. For those of you who tend to do your weekly bosses every Monday and Tuesday when the week resets. Don't forget, this is your reminder. Okay, and now for the rest of the stuff, it's going to be more of like common sense stuff and uh, subjective, I suppose, if you want to farm for the character. But we do get a free Diona in 1.5. I'm not sure when she'll be coming out. However, you can always farm up for her. You can always farm up on the Crystal, the Horfrost cores. You can always farm up on the uh, Jade Chunks and Gemstones, as well as her Talent Up materials, which is Freedom. So every Monday, Thursday, and Sunday, if you want to farm up on that. Or you can wait for the three times or double, double talent book event that'll be taking place. If you don't want to pre-farm talent books, you can hold off on that. You're also able to farm up for weapons. And the weapons are going to vary depending on what kind of build you want to run her. Uh, I don't know what you would do for like DPS Diona, maybe like Prototype Crescent. I don't have many bows to go off of, right? But if you're running her as support, we have Favonius Bow and we have Sacrificial Bow. And Sacrificial Bow, you can always pre-farm for that. Shackles, or Favonius Bow, you can always pre-farm for that. Sacrificial Bow, you can always pre-farm the Milk Tooth. And depending on what, what you want to do for Diona, I think this is what we've come up with. For Favonius, if you want more energy recharge for your entire team, I would use this on Diona, which means if you want to keep... If you want Diona to be like a battery for your team and continuously pop your alts to do more damage and do more elemental reactions and stuff like that, Go with Favonius Bow. If you need to have your shield up more for protection and you keep getting hit a lot, uh, you're not too great at abusing iframes and whatnot, go for Sacrificial Bow so you can have more uptime on your shield. So Fav or Sacrificial Bow for protection, Favonius for more energy and more damage. That is what I would say if you guys do want to pre-farm for those two for Diona. On top of which, you can also farm... Um, Artifacts, I guess if I'm giving out any suggestions, you could probably farm some artifacts for Diona. Personally, I think I'm going to be running Diona or my Diona with a four piece noblesse. So every time we use our elemental burst, all the party member members will have their attack increased by 20% for 12 seconds. So that's what I'm going to run. And I'm going to be running HP, HP, and HP on the three substats for the hourglass, goblet, and the circlet. And someone decided to give me Primo Gems, or Genesis Crystals, midway through this YouTube video. Nice! If you guys didn't know, that's a thing, and people can send you Genesis Crystals against your own will. <laughs> that's awkward. Alright, moving on. We also have two other characters that, that are going to be showcased. We have Yanfei, and we have Eula. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what they are going to need, obviously. But, I can say, Yanfei is from Liyue, which technically means she will have one of the Liyue books. So what I always do is I just farm up on everything. I got all the Liyue books possibly ready to go. And, she's a pyro character, so she's either going to be using the Everflame Seeds from the Pyro Regisfine, or the Juvenile Jade, because that was the only new additional boss added. So, one of those two, but you can always stock up on both. I just stock up on all materials just because I want to be ready for every situation. And then you have, um, and then for artifacts for her, I'd probably say you could probably get away with, depending on how you want to play her, main DPS, you could go with like Wanderer's Troop 4 piece for that charge attack damage, right? And probably like Burst Support. Would Burst Support be good for like Lava Walker? Increases damage against opponents. Or maybe this is main DPS. Increases damage against opponents uh, collected by Pyro. And then Burst Support would be like a two piece Noblesse. And a two-piece um, Crimson Witch. You got Burst Support. You got Main DPS and all that other stuff. Depending on how you want to run her. 
Uh, you can pre-farm artifacts for her because she will be the first banner. She will be on the Zhongli banner. So if you guys want to go ahead and get that out of the way now, not have to stress about that. Uh, in terms of weapon, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Personally, I'm not too sure. Weapon is all up to what you guys have. But if you are free to play as well and you don't have like battle pass weapon and stuff like that, maybe Frost Bear Catalyst would be good for her. Maybe the Witsith if you did end up wishing and, and got lucky and got the Witsith. It's going to depend on what kind of weapons you have at your disposal. And switching over to Eula. So Eula's the other character, I would say, obviously, just pre-farm, right? She's either going to take Horror Frost Cores or that new Cryo Regis find that's coming out, the new boss. You can stock up on either one. Uh, not sure what book she has, she'll be using, but she's from Mondstadt. So just like me, I farmed up on all the Mondstadt books. Um, in terms of Claymore, I want to do some testing. I'll be trying out Prototype Archaic and Snow Tomb Star Silver, and I'll be running her with the new physical damage artifact set that'll be coming out. After all of that, you can also stock up on Iron Chunks and White Iron Chunks, because when 1.5 comes out, there's a new housing system. I'm not sure when it's going to drop. But to make the furniture, you need iron chunks and white iron chunks. So if you guys have been neglecting your iron chunks throughout the game, now might be a good time to start farming up on them before 1.5 drops. So one more small little thing you could do is on the 26th and the 27th, the new week, you can decide not to do your bounties, your requests, um... Just if you want a little bit more of that XP for your battle pass. Not as important. But I think that was it. If I ended up missing anything else on how to prep for 1.5, please leave a comment down below. Or just let me know how you guys are going to be prepping for 1.5. Uh, small disclaimer. When I said, when I mentioned about pre-farming for like Yanfei and stuff like that. Do keep in mind, you are not guaranteed Yanfei. Yes, she is a 4-star character. She is quote-unquote supposed to be easier to obtain however i think she's harder to obtain because of the fact that she's a four star and she's not guaranteed pity unlike a five star eula so keep that in mind if you are going to be trying to farm for um yanfei and uh just farming up on all the leoa specialties in terms of like what her essential material is and stuff and what all that other stuff and that was basically it if you did end up making it to the end of the video and you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up it does help the youtube algorithm in showing this video to many other people and helping them out and uh, consider subscribing as well apparently 63.8 percent of you guys are not subscribed yet and if you guys do want to check out my twitch channel links down below or if you guys need to ask any other questions if i'm offline feel free to join uh, my discord server um, down below as well a lot of wholesome people on there um, leave your comments and thoughts down below in the YouTube section, and I'll catch you guys next time.